Hi students, welcome back. Now coming to the next uh, continuation of this uh, simplification of context-free grammar. In the previous video, to reduce the given grammar, we have to do uh, three things. One is the removal of useless symbols and elimination of uh, epsilon productions or elimination of unit productions. This we have to do. Now coming to the second one, the first one I explained. Now let's see the second one. Removal of elimination of epsilon productions. So if the epsilon productions, that is the empty productions, the production S determines epsilon are called the epsilon productions. Not only the start symbol or whatever the non-terminals that are there, if that determines the epsilon productions that we have to be removed. These types of productions can only be removed from those grammar that do not generate epsilon. So for this also you have to follow some rules to eliminate the epsilon productions. First, find out all nullable non-terminals which derives epsilon. Means, whatever the non-terminals that are the, uh, the start symbol or whatever the term, non-terminals that are present. First, we have to find out whether these non-terminals are deriving epsilon or not. Is deriving epsilon or productions or not. Second step, suppose if it is deriving epsilon production. For each production, A determines A. Means something, some production you are getting on right hand side. Construct all productions A determines X. Where X is obtained from A. So this a new production is obtained from A by removing one or more non-terminals from step 1. So don't be confused. If you see the example, then you can easily understand these properties. These steps. So, for now combining the result of step 2 with the original productions and removes the epsilon productions. So, let's see the example. So, see example clear carefully. So, here you can see S determines X, Y, X. Okay, this is one production. In this production, X is determining 0X and epsilon. Means, X can be replaced with epsilon. And here also y determines y, 1 y or also y determines the epsilon. So I want to remove these two productions because I am eliminating the epsilon. So you can't simply remove these productions. If you simply remove this production, you can't reach to the string. Okay, You can't reach to the, uh, our condition is whatever the non-terminals that are present on the right hand side should replaced with the terminals and finally it has to reach the terminal symbol suppose you simply replace epsilon okay by just removing without doing any operations if you remove in place of x if you substitute 0x and place of 5 you substitute 1 by okay you will you will get the string like this means whatever the operations you are doing you still you are getting x y x x y x or repeating like that you are not then you can say this production is it's a wrong okay means this is not the context free grammar you can clearly say that so don't do like that so you have to follow the rules and you have to eliminate the epsilon productions without disturbing the given context free grammar so how can i do let's see while removing epsilon productions we are deleting the rule x determines epsilon and y determines epsilon to preserve the meaning of context free grammar this point you have to remember that to preserve the meaning of the context free grammar we are actually placing epsilon at right hand side wherever x and y appear so just place epsilon on a, a right hand side wherever x and y are appear then you will get some productions and in place of epsilon you can write that productions so let me take the first production x determines s determines x y x first if first x at right hand side is epsilon then you will get, suppose if this x is an epsilon, you will get s determined by x. Similarly, if the last x, if you take this last x is an epsilon, then you will get s determined x y. Suppose, if suppose y is an epsilon, you will get x x. Suppose if both y and x, these two are epsilon, you will get only s determines x. This time, if both x or epsilons then you will get simply y so i i am placing epsilon and and i get some different productions different uh, productions on the right hand side so finally s i can replace with xy yx xx xy okay so this production i have written like this i have changed it like this 
now i can freely remove the x determine x and y determine y in in the case of this s production because after substituting only i got these productions in the same way now consider the remaining productions x determine 0x or epsilon okay so if we replace epsilon at the right hand side for x if you replace epsilon at right hand side of the x you will get x determine 0 okay now the new production is x determine 0x or 0 in similarly y determines 1y or 1 so finally the context free grammar with removal of epsilon productions is this grammar i remove the epsilons and write, rewrite the productions rules like this now these productions rule are equivalent to the production rules whatever that with epsilon so with epsilon and this is without epsilon production rules thank you